thanks for coming. Today, I'm going to talk about something apparently that's not well represented on the in the videos or in the internet even. And that's called the Law of the Last Thought. And I know you're thinking, well, last thought, well, what could that be? Whatever the law is, whatever you think of at the moment of death, that's the life you go to next. And there are some rules to that. Uh, there's exceptions to the idea of what happens to you when the moment of death comes upon you. You know, when you read books about death and dying and uh, people that, that survive on an operating table and they go to a place of light and their whole life passes before them. This is a very common statement that they make that they saw their whole life passing in front of them. People that were drowning also say that this is the moment that your whole life is summed up and churned out of that turbulence is the predominant thought of your life. That's the normal course of it. So whatever you think of during your lifetime, at the moment of death, that comes swirling to you. But there are some other things too. What if you're thinking about having a pizza and you're driving the car? Well, the law of the last thought works. Uh, your next life is going to be involved with pizza. There's a story that illustrates another exception. The story of Ajimla. And I learned this when I was studying with uh, Sant Kashevadas, but I just recently came across it again. Uh, by the way, Sant Kashevadas has passed away. He does have a website, the Temple of Cosmic Religion. Uh, I'm sad to say that he doesn't have any of his videos that were taken of him. Uh, so it's, in a way, it's a loss. Anyway, uh, to get back, uh, Jimla was a very pious man. He was in a Brahmin family, which means that they studied the scriptures, and he was very good at that. One day, when he was gathering firewood for a puja, he saw a slave girl. And he fell in love with her at first sight. And he had, uh, so he left his studies, he left everything, he went and lived with her and had kids by her. At the moment of death, he could see his son, Narayana, see even good uh, tendencies tend to stay on. So he gave his, his son the name of, was the names of Vishnu, Narayana. And the agents of the god of death, Yama, came to take his soul away. As they were struggling, he didn't want to go. He called out, he saw his son, he knew what was happening. He says, Narayana, Narayana. Immediately, the angels of Vishnu, well, Narayana is one of the names of Vishnu, appeared and said, you can't do that. The law of the last thought is invoked, we will take him. And they did. And so the, the agents of Yama went back to Yama and said, 
you know everything. How could this be? He was a bad man. He did bad things. He needed to go to hell. He said, no, the law of the last thought is paramount. So why is this important to us? Because we are an eternal being. We're going from this place to another. Wouldn't you rather go to a good place than a bad? Take out a little insurance. Say the name of God sometime. It's very powerful. Especially as you get older, the law of the last thought, if you know it, will come to dominate your mind. Gandhi, when he died in the movie, you see him saying, oh, wrong, as if he was sorry something. Actually, he knew the law, he invoked it, went straight to heaven. Hey, Ron. So you have a modern day example of that being invoked. A word to the wise is sufficient. Take up thinking of God, knowing his names, knowing what the, be prepared for that moment when the swirling comes, when you can go to a better life than this. Thank you.